Hello and welcome back to another episode of Flawless Plan Garage, where today we are once again working on my 1994 Buick Roadmaster station wagon, into which I am attempting to cram a 6.6 liter Duramax diesel V8 and Allison transmission. But we're actually not working on that stuff today. Today we're doing something a little different. We're setting up a tow hitch. Because today's sponsor is Questionable Choices. Because Questionable Choices are things like selling your three quarter ton pickup buying a 20-foot enclosed trailer and assuming that at some point you'll be able to tow it with a station wagon? Yeah. Stay tuned. You know, Peter Egan in one of his columns, I may have mentioned this before, mentioned that uh, you get to the stage of a project where you realize the most efficient way to store car parts is in the shape of a car. Well, I'm, I'm not there yet. Uh, but one of the things we're going to also do here is install a tow hitch. So these came with a factory class 3 tow hitch if you had the tow package, which this car just didn't happen to have. And you can't really get those anymore. Um, but there's a guy... And if I can find his name again, I'll put it here at the bottom of the video because I bought this like a year ago and I don't remember his name. But I found him on one of the uh, long roof forums for these old GM wagons. And he makes a knockdown weld up kit uh, with a really nice plate steel tow hitch. So let's, let's grab this. I have to say how much I just really appreciate the fact that anyone is willing to take their time and make parts uh, for any of these old cars, um, like the Corvair or these Roadmasters. You know, nobody's getting rich doing this, but just the fact that people are willing uh, to take their time and skills to make something and sell it for a reasonable price to the community is awesome. So thanks for that. Yeah, and here's some pretty cool stuff. So we got some hardware. Here we go. Here's who I got it from. KDS Performance. Michael at KDS Performance. So thanks, Michael. Got some side pieces. This looks like the chain attachment. This is the side plate, looks like. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, as part of this kit, I was supposed to buy my own piece of rectangle tube steel. <laughs> Saved a lot of shipping cost uh, to just buy that locally. So I'll have to get that ordered. Looks like uh, probably quarter inch plate. Pretty beefy. Love it. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, so this tow hitch kit is obviously intended to just be bolted on, but sometimes when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail, and I've got a welder. So we're going to do a quick kind of mock-up fit here. I'm going to gently bolt it up, then I'm going to get my big piece of uh, two and a half inch quarter square tube steel that makes up the crossbar. I'm going to slide that into place, kind of get things tacked up and make sure everything is square and level and set up before I start really zapping it together. So over here on the driver's side, I had already made this modification on the passenger side. I didn't think I would need to over here, but I, I will. You see there's this little flare out, uh, like a little where they stamped the frame rail. 
it flares out a bit and it results in just the smallest amount of gap there you can see it right there so I'm gonna take this plate off grind this a little bit to make sure I get a nice flat vertically oriented surface to bolt this thing down and then weld it to there we go it's level and we've got a little better connection there less of a gap and I haven't even snug the bolts down yet okay so I'll try that again okay so my distance from the surface here where the bumper mounts including the little bumper jack bumper <laughs> impact absorber whatever that's supposed to be called uh, that distance to the end of the bumper is about 11 inches so I want the receiver of the hitch to come out to about the 11 inch mark here as measured from the that surface and my tow bar itself my crossbar is about the three inch mark so the length of my uh, like I guess the actual draw bar there we go. length of the actual draw bar piece here in the middle should be 11 minus 3 I don't know what that is And there we go, after quite a bit of time of trying to find the right drill bits, getting things set up, I have two nice holes drilled in the right spot. The pin fits nicely, and I did it in the wrong drawbar tube. This is the scrap piece. This is the piece that I so carefully coped and cut to the correct eight inch length. <sighs> yeah, we're, we're doing it again. And so the drilling began again in earnest, but those drill bits had nothing left to give but smoke. <sighs> All right, fine, you're right, voiceover guy, but it's easy to be right later in retrospect, for the record. Anyway, New drill bit time. Hopefully this will do the trick. With a name like Performax from Menards, you know it's got to be good. Uh, that being said, if anyone from Performax would like to sponsor the channel, that'll have a big impact on how I feel about your products. Thanks, let's, let's try this again. I should add that he includes these little plates here, which obviously are intended to go, you know, something like this, so that you can have a couple more bolts uh, attaching this tow bar. Uh, these are the bolts where the rear bumper would attach. Uh, the bumper shock would go in here first, and then the, then the bumper. So this looks like it's intended to go kind of on the outside of that bumper shock. I'm gonna skip these because I'm gonna, you know, weld this entire thing to the side of the frame which means that ought to give me significantly more strength than what I would get from just two more small, these are like quarter inch bolts or something that the bumper goes onto. So the welding solid to the side of the frame should be significantly stronger than this extra little attachment anyway. Plus, since I'm gonna do that, if I were to weld this on, I'd never be able to get the bumper shock out again. Um, 
which could potentially be a problem. So uh, we're gonna skip these. That is a tow hitch. And as usual, I find that it's just so much easier to work with thicker metal. Um, feel pretty confident in the penetration and setup of these welds. I think I've got plenty of them. I went ahead and fully welded both sides of the crossbar, mostly to keep any opportunity for corrosion out of that. And then the drawbar, nice and strong, welded in. Everything's nice and level, welded on both sides. Plus, uh, went ahead and kept the bolt here as well. Overall, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, in the context of the chassis fabrication on this project, <clears throat> it was really simple, straightforward, nice and strong and beefy. Um, I think it'll serve really nicely. And thanks to KDS Performance for a nice quality piece. Uh, no, no sponsorship or anything, but uh, just want to give a shout out to somebody making quality hardware for a reasonable price. So thanks for that. Most of all, Thanks for watching. See you next time.